Hello, this is Co Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com or RHPG.org. Today I'm going to flash a 7400 light on drive with Clutch's new iPrep 10.7. He's made a few changes on this, so I'll go over them. It looks a lot better. Alright, so first you get your iPrep loaded in. I'm also doing this with a connectivity kit hooked up to the drive that I've got open alright so once you've got it installed get your light on firmware in and it'll do it straight from the RAR.Up file found the 12 times speed which that's what we want to use I am using a VIA card PCI card in this you want to make sure to be on COM1 now I'll put my flash drive in that I'm actually going to boot to which that should be G put a check in format make bootable and then click start and it'll build your boot drive. Right now I just want to take a second to say thanks to Clutch, Commodore, Caster, all the guys that make this possible for us. We really appreciate it. Now that that's done, a new feature is you can exit iPrep, reboot, shut down. I always like to shut the PC down. I don't like to reboot. I just This old Dell does better when you shut it down. While this is doing that, I also want to say thanks to the beta testers. Clutch put out a call to, for a few beta testers, and um, there were some good guys showed up to help out. Sedalius of Robin Hood's Playground, he, uh, he led the charge, and they did a bunch of good testing on this. So now we want to boot up onto our flash. Alright, right now, I'm going to get everything hooked up. I'm going to get my SATA hooked up. It hasn't been hooked up the whole time. I'm hooking the SATA cable up. I'm powering on the drive. Also, right here, I'm going to eject the drive. I'm powering the drive back off. I'm using a CK3 Pro on this also to power it and do all the ejecting. So, I've ejected it. I turn the switch off, close the tray halfway, turn the switch back on. So now it's pretty much ready to go minus the fact that I've got to put my probe on when it gets there. So right here it says do you agree to the terms, a little disclaimer, of course yes. Now we're going to be doing the L74, so that's what we have to type in, L74 space and the serial number which I'm going to use 1234567 space 12345 once we get that I'm going to go on and put the probe in place you put it on the 707 point when you get your green light on your probe you know you're there I'm going to hit enter it says ensure your light on is on with your serial cable on COM1, mine is, the drive tray trays ejected about 2 inches, and the probe connected to the 707. All that's ready to go. I've got that done. Press any key. To receive the drive key, goes on about having the drive tray half open, powered off, which we just went through that. Ask, are you ready? I'm going to hit Y. Enter. It's pulling the key information. It pulls it many times to make sure we have a good key. Tells you what the firmware is, the key. It asks, does that information appear correct? 
we say yes, it packs the key, everything appears go, and now it says press any key to continue. So we just hit enter. Once again, it says ensure your drive is turned on. Your drive will now be erased. This is normal. Are you sure your key is correct? We hit yes. It's erasing the drive. Now the drive is erased. Now it says power the drive. Turn your drive off and then back on. And then press any key. So I'm powering the drive off. Turn the drive on hit the space bar. Now it's starting to write the four banks. Right before I did this step, turning the drive off and on, I removed the probe off of the 707 point. Once I removed it, that's when I cut it off, cut it on, and did that. Once you get to this point, success, it's been flashed, it should be good to go.